what's up y'all and welcome back to another episode of the you're not done yet podcast where your purpose is just moments away and i am here to help you get there all right y'all it's monday so you know that means it's time for another episode and it's time for another thought-provoking time okay so this week we're going to be talking about making room so my first question to you is what have you been making room for have you been making room for the negativity have you been making room for everything to go wrong have you been making room for disappointment have you been making room for fear have you been making room for doubt what have you been making room for right and when we hear the terms make room i know for me it means to get out of my own way and allow things to happen that you know the way that god sees fit right nine times out of ten most of us right now are in our own way (laughs) we're making room for the things that serve us no purpose we're making room for the things that are not putting us on the path to where we need to be so what are you making room for Are you making room for your purpose? Are you making room for your destiny? Are you making room for God to come and clean up your mess? Are you making room? So this week, I really want you to think about that. What are you making room for? What are you what are you preparing yourself to encounter? What are you preparing yourself to develop? And most of all, what are you preparing yourself for in regards to your purpose? Right. So making room to me like i said earlier is all about getting out of my own way and allowing god to be god okay and i want to encourage you to start making room start making room for the things that are going to put you on that path to purpose and what does making room look like here we go making room looks like allowing those people that were in your life to exit (laughs) stop trying to hold them hostage stop trying to hold them here stop trying to make them be something that they don't want to be for you they don't want to be with you or whatever the case may be let those people go because i guarantee you when you let those people go god is going to embrace you and allow you to welcome people that are 10 times better right people that aren't going to speak negativity over your life and to you people that are going to speak positive things into you they want to see you win they want to see you get to the next level so make room for those people right case in point think about if god didn't make room for Jesus, right? If he didn't set a place, a point, and a time for him to come down and do what he was destined to do, right? The world would be pretty chaotic. I mean, it's already chaotic now, but it would be way more chaotic than what it is now, right? But think about it. God makes room for us every single day, right? And how are we repaying him? We're repaying him by making room for the things that he keeps telling us to get rid of. (laughs) The things that he keeps saying, like, my son, my daughter, let it go. But let's get back to people. As humans, we often have this notion of we want to work something out when it's over, right? And we don't want to make room for the next best thing or the biggest thing that God wants to give us because we're scared. But what are we afraid of? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid that person may actually push you? Are you afraid that that person may actually test your faith and test, you know, what you're saying to them as in regards to your faith and your purpose or whatever? Or are you just simply afraid that you won't be able to live up to the standards that you have of yourself that you presented to them? Listen, the people that God puts in your life, they know you, right? Or either they're getting to know you and they know that certain things come with you, certain things that they have to learn about you and certain things that they have to deal with if they want to be in your presence and if those people are meant to be in your presence and in your life and in your space make room for them don't make it difficult like oh my god i don't trust them listen trust is a two-way street okay if they're given their all to trust you and be around you and pour into you and confide into you extend them them that same courtesy start making room for your mental okay as humans 
I know we're all so bottled up and we're bogged down about the next best thing, the next big thing, or what am I gonna do next? What am I gonna do next? I'm tired of sitting still. Start making room for your mental. Start thinking positive. Start reading things that help you out. <laughs> Start reading things that are gonna help you develop yourself in every aspect of your life. Make room for your mental because your mental is important, right? Because if you're not right up here at the top of your brain, you're not gonna be right anywhere else. And take that time for you. Take that time for you. Take that time for you to get your mind together, whether that's debriefing from social media, whether that's um, you know, going for a walk or whether that's, you know, doing an activity that really allows you to clear your head and free your mind. Start making room for that. Start making room financially, right? I believe in tithing. I believe in giving my 10% to God. And, you know, like they say, it always doesn't have to come back in forms of money, but it comes back in forms of other things. You know, somebody just taking you out to go get something to eat or somebody just slipping you some money and say, hey, I was thinking about you, right? And start, when I mean start thinking for making room financially too, it really just means that start preparing yourself to receive more. Start making those preparations to receive more, receive more abundance, receive more opportunities. Start making room for that. Start making room for yourself that even if you know you ain't got it right now, you walk in and talking like you got it because you know God is going to provide that for you. You know that. And most of all, start making rooms for opportunity. Start making rooms for opportunity. Start making room for opportunities, okay? And what I mean by that is oftentimes we prepare for something, we work so hard for something, and then when the opportunity comes, we question it. Why are you questioning the opportunity that God has given to you? Or maybe you're like, well, Andrea, like, how do I know that it's a God-given opportunity? Listen, if it's a God-given opportunity, it's easy. It's not forced. And everything just falls into place. And that's one thing that I learned. Not every opportunity is a good opportunity, right? Or that opportunity may only, you know, benefit one person and not both parties. But start making room for those big things to come. Start making room for those for those abundant, those miraculous, and those just amazing things to start coming your way. Start making room. I want you guys to make room for everything that God has for you. Make room for everything and especially your purpose. Whatever you're doing right now and it's not working, you need to fix that. Whatever you need to do to get yourself back in alignment, back on path, and back in that, that same zone with God, do that. Start making room. And most of all, make room for him. You have to get rid of all the distractions. You have to get rid of everything. <coughs> Bless me. You have to get rid of everything that's taking your eyes off of him. You know, and it's like, well, what does that look like? It could be people. It could be places. It could be things. It could be anything that takes your attention away from God long enough that you forget who he is. Listen, it happens. We get so caught up in life like, oh my God, it's going well. It's going good. You ain't prayed in a while. You ain't even checked in with God in a while. But yet he is still making things happen in the background he's still making things happen in silence and without you even noticing and then you're so used to it because it just keeps happening you have to make room for him you can't have him in your life halfway he has to be there a hundred percent he has to be there a hundred percent and i feel like as people that's just something that we have to learn every single day you don't only talk to god when it's tough right i mean yeah you don't only talk to god when it's good i'm sorry you talk to him when it's good, when it's bad, when it's ugly, when you're mad and you're not sure what to do. You have to start making room for him. He has to come first. He has to be your and all be all, right? Not your second choice, not your third choice when you've tried to figure it out, when you've tried to do everything 
but he's been telling you to do this and you're doing everything around what he's telling you to do make room you know it's coming to a point in time where you have to let go of the things that are distracting you it's coming to a point in time where you have to stay focused on the things that he has called you to do you know and like they say your gifts make room for you but if you're not using your gifts how do you expect for your gifts to fill the room if you're not using them <laughs> how do you expect that you know people think that okay i got a gift of i got a gift of designing clothes well how is anyone gonna call you to design a dress if you're not even posting your stuff if you're not even designing dresses like that for real you got some sketches but you ain't put no needle in no thread you haven't done nothing and that's what it is with your purpose. How do you expect for your purpose or your gift to be shown if you don't want to display it? You can't be afraid to display your purpose. God didn't give it to you for you to be afraid. You know, he's not going to continue to make room with you being afraid. You have to trust him. You have to lean into him and know that by him giving that gift, those rooms are about to get ready to open. You are about to get ready to make room. I'm telling you, the more and more that I stop running from what it is that God told me, tells me to do, the opportunity comes just like that. Or whatever I'm praying for in that moment, or I'm believing in God in for that moment, it happens just like that. He wants you to let go of everything and just trust him. Allow him to work it out. Allow him to order your steps and where you're supposed to go. That's why I'm saying you got to make room. <laughs> you got to start making room. That is as simple and plain as I can put it. Make room mentally. Make room financially. Make room for opportunities. And make room for new people. Don't be afraid, y'all, because the more and more that he tugs on your heart, the more and more that he's pulling things away and pulling things to the side is because he's making room for bigger and better things for your life. He knows what you're destined to do. Do you know what you're destined to do? He knows what purpose he gave you, but do you know that? And the more you lean into that understanding and the more that you lean into wanting to know, he's going to reveal everything that he wants for you in your life start making room i hope you guys got something out of this week's episode i am so excited to be back on the mic back in your presence and we're up from here okay so make sure you guys are following us on instagram at you're not done yet pod and then your host me at it's andrea b and we're also on facebook at you're not done yet podcast and all of our episodes are uploaded to youtube until next time this has been an amazing episode of the you're not done yet podcast where your purpose is just moments away and i'm here to help you get there all right y'all